It's good weather, just one of the many things we're watching this morning. The fueling process has started, stopped, but it's going again. This is, of course, the second attempt for the launch. The mission was scrapped on Monday. As you know, they were having an issue with Engine 3. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi has been joining us live from Kennedy Space Center all morning and updating us throughout this process of trying to get fuel in those tanks, Dave. And wow, what a job that is. Oh, it is, Amy, but it's going very well right now. They're back up to full speed as they continue this process. Now, there still remains a small leak in one of the quick disconnects, but what that hasn't done is slow down that clock, which is now under four hours and 43 minutes. Now, right now, Artemis is about 60% full. They say they are noticing that leak when they increase the pressure too much. If Artemis lifts off today during its two-hour launch window, it will be a monumental test for NASA's deep space exploration. This will start a series of missions to the moon and eventually Mars in hopes of expanding the existence of humans and trying to find out if we're alone in the universe. For anyone out here on the coast today, liftoff will be felt. So it's going to be real exciting. It's four times a Falcon 9, so if you've seen them lately, just think about four times, and that will be just tremendous. It is going to knock you out of your socks. Now, again, that countdown clock has not been slowed, but because of the fueling taking a little bit longer than normal, Ken does believe we will see a delay at some point, but eventually, hopefully, getting to a historic liftoff, which you'll be able to watch here live on Fox 35 starting at 2 o'clock this afternoon. But right now, that's the latest at the Kennedy Space Center. Dave Pugliese, Fox 35 News. All right.